All right, so we have the actual season five launch trailer for Call of Duty Warzone 2 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Let's get into the video. Now, listen, the actual season five trailer. Um, I'm a little excited. Got himself. Heard you died in a tank in South America. What else you heard? Is that Graves? Okay, so these are like the new missions, right? I love that skin. I like that skin. Oh my god, wait. Is this the map? Whoa. Are they adding the map back? Okay, Tommaso Champa. All right. So the new season uh, is a free content update tomorrow. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow, because today is August first. Tomorrow is August second. Okay, so it's gonna happen tomorrow. Um, initial like reactions from it. I think that they're adding. If they didn't already, they're adding in um this classic map back. What is this map called? This map was in Modern Warfare, or was this map already in the game? I haven't played multiplayer in a long time, so if it is in a game, I'm very late. I literally haven't played Modern Warfare two multiplayer in months um it's, it's really it's really because like i'm not really that interested in it and just playing it um i'm gonna be real i'm honestly went into modern warfare 3 i went into modern warfare 3 and then i heard right a little you know a little tweet tweet a little birdie told me that modern warfare 3 trailer uh will drop uh this august so that's pretty cool uh, we're definitely gonna you know react to that all that stuff. Uh, it's gonna be the reboot of Modern Warfare 3 Which is my favorite Call of Duty ever like the like the original 2012 version like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. I love that. I love that so much um, But yeah, some things in the trailer uh, Again, we, we saw the skin before we also we already saw the skin in the video earlier So if you guys haven't seen that video miss you guys go watch that video or I will slap you in the face I won't but um <laughs> but um other than that, this guy right here, I think they're still like moving along, like the whole uh, Modern Warfare, um, like was it Modern Warfare Two campaign and Spec Ops, I think, because I think that okay, once you do the campaign, like campaign, you have uh, other missions that goes along, and I think that's canon. You have other missions that goes along uh, with the story mode and the uh, Spec Ops version, so um, that's pretty cool. I think they have, um... so he's not dead. So he's not dead. He is not dead because in the original um in the original campaign right and here's the thing that i said a bunch of times i knew he wasn't dead by the way and i, and I know i sound like lebron right now listen <laughs> i knew he wasn't dead because in the original call of duty modern warfare 2 campaign right i said the original sorry in the newest call of duty modern warfare 2 campaign uh they said that he blew up in a tank uh we saw the tank go but we didn't see him go it's a classic rule in video games and in movies, I guess. Um, until you see the actual character die, they're not dead. I hope you guys know that. If, they, if, if you didn't see the actual character die in the movie or in the TV show or uh, in the video game, that character is still alive. Even though, let's just say I walk into um, a house, right? Just full of, rigged with bombs, right? And I'm the character of a TV show. And the whole house go kabooey, right? Boom, 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 boom. Um, explosions on top of explosions, right? If they didn't show, you know, my fruit juice, uh, bacon strips, and all types of ground beef of, in, in my body go boom, boom, then I'm still, I'm technically, I'm still alive. <laughs> technically, I'm still alive. I mean, it is what it is at the end of the day uh, when it comes to stuff like that. Um, you could try to like balance, you know, stuff like that out. But again, if you haven't seen the character die in the movie or in a TV show or in a video game, if you haven't, like, you know, if you haven't seen them die, they're they're alive. I don't care. They're alive. And uh looks like he's alive, bro. He survived a little tank thing. I don't know how he got away. I thought like, you know, I thought I don't, I don't know how he got away, but it looks like he's alive. He's with some new people. I'm guessing this dude looks like, oh, my God, he looks like Damian Priest from WWE. Um, and, and so I, I guess we'll see what this is about. Um, 
I actually like when Call of Duty like add like masks and stuff like that. I like that. Um, other than that, this was the season five launch trailer. Hopefully, it's pretty good because I'll be real. I really didn't enjoy season four like that. Um, and yeah, I just feel like Call of Duty itself has been on like a on like a little drought. You know, when it come when it when it comes down to stuff like that, I feel like a lot of people aren't as interested in the game as they was for other Call of Duties. You know, uh, I don't want to be the one to like compare and stuff like that. But at the end of the day. When it comes down to it, you know, it is just I listen. I I expected so much from Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two, and this was like last year, like during June, right? When I I hyped this game up so much, man, because I was really excited for it. The thing is, right? The, the the good takeaway from it is the campaign did not disappoint me at all. The campaign was absolutely perfect. I love the campaign. I love Modern Warfare Two's campaign. It, it didn't disappoint at all. So I was fulfilled on that end. I knew Warzone was going to be uh, a little iffy, especially I um, after, like, all the changes that was made. A lot of people were so used to, like, the whole slide cancel movement thing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And then they switched that. And I thought that was a good thing because, like, you know, it's, it's like traditional Call of Duty now. You know, it's not like, you know, um, I can have terrible aim and still slide past you and do all this. I mean, they can do that now. I'm talking about like, at the beginning of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, uh, like, Warzone when it first came out. Um, it was... I liked it, you know, but at the end of the day, you know, a lot of the changes. And then when people didn't like the whole like no movement thing, they added the movement thing back. Now people can now people can like run like 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 the flash and still like jump and shoot you like it's ridiculous. Honestly, it's ridiculous. The game is very cheesy. Um, but at the same time, I always love Call of Duty. You know, Call of Duty is a big, you know, Call of Duty is like one of my favorite games ever in the world, you know. So just to see it. You know, be on a drought. It is what it is. It's fine. I feel like the next Call of Duty would be better. Modern Warfare 3. It better be better. That's my favorite. Listen, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 is my favorite Call of Duty ever. This better be better. It better be better. And then and then um we have uh we have Call of Duty, you know, the whole 2025 thing, you know, for Black Ops, right? Hopefully that comes through, right? Because if that comes through, if that drops, I already know it's gonna be big. I already know it's going to be big, bro. The whole Call of Duty 2025. You guys know, like, the Nuketown, Black Ops. Well, listen, we don't even have to get into all that. But um, but for now, you know, hopefully Season 5 is all right because uh, I think this is, like, the final. This might be the... F mm, hold up. Because I think the new Call of Duty is probably it's probably dropping in November. I haven't gotten a date yet, but I, I did get the region of, like, of, of, of when they're going to drop, like, the next trailer for Call of Duty, and that's this month. So the next Call of Duty probably is going to drop at around like November, maybe December, late, probably late November. The, like the latest is November. They have to get it out by like November, right? So, um, I mean, I guess we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm kind of nervous because I don't know how they're going to do. I'm very nervous. <laughs> I'm very nervous to be, to be, ah, <sighs> Call of Duty. What happened, man? What happened? And that's not a bad thing. I'm not saying like what happened like in a bad way. It's just I feel like Call of Duty like I feel like Call of Duty they're just they're, they're thinking too much. I feel like they're just tiptoeing. Does that make sense? Like I feel like Call if Call of Duty was was more if Call of Duty took more risk into doing like different things and not settling cuz I, I that's what I feel like they're doing. I feel like Call of Duty is just I'll probably say, like, over the past few years, bro, Call of Duty is just selling, bro. It's selling, bro. And and they're afraid and they're afraid to, like, take steps to be themselves. Like, Call of Duty was once Call of Duty. Now Call of Duty is trying to be like everybody else. Why do you have to be like everybody else? Call of Duty, you're Call of Duty. Hello? What are we doing? Call of Duty, you are literally Call of Duty. Why are you trying to go off of other people's, you know, ways of succeeding? Call of Duty, if you've already made it, did we did we not forget Call of Duty? You literally already made it, and right now it's like Call of Duty or it, it's like Call of Duty is looking around, trying to find a formula of getting people. You have the formula. Why do you think Call of Duty is so big? You have the formula. It's just you're not. You just think it's just a lot of you guys at Call of Duty think that okay, well since the times are changing and you know blah 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 yes times are changing and time will forever change but at the end of the day it's up to you to you either go along with a formula that you made up right
Because that's how I feel like. I feel like Call of Duty will only be successful again when they go by their own formula. I feel like now, bro, they're trying too much to they're trying too much to be like other people, right? Which isn't a good thing at all, especially when you made it already. When you made it already, that means that whatever was working for you before, that's what got you there, right? That, let's be real. That's what got him there. That's what made Call of Duty a billion dollar name. It is is Call of Duty did something that a lot of people didn't do, and it got them to where they are. And now Call of Duty is is, is falling into the trap of you know uh, uh, of you know. Being like everybody else, I'm not saying you know you shouldn't uh, you know uh, innovate and, and try to like you know ask some ideas, but man, you guys are like falling into like the a whole new thing. Call of Duty isn't, you know. It's like for example, right? I'm not really a big like cursor myself. Like I don't really curse like that. Whatever. Like, but also I don't walk around and say, oh, you're not allowed to curse. You can do whatever you want, right? I'm <laughs> you can do whatever you want. Um, it is my thing is like I knew listen call me what you want right I played I was playing Call of Duty when I was 7 years old I play I, listen I was playing Call of Duty when I was 7 years old young on the game y'all and I know Call of Duty is infomature or whatever but Call of Duty isn't an infomature game anymore it isn't Call of Duty is is uh as soon as you log into the game right like you haven't even like uh like played the game yet I've never in my life, never, hey, on God, never in my life, I've played every single Call of Duty from Black Ops, y'all, and I, I play, I mean, listen, I've been playing this game since I was younger, at the end of the day, bro, it's just crazy because from the age of seven and up until now, I've never loaded up a Call of Duty game and that thing said, please be respectful to others and make sure you guys uh make sure you guys uh what did it say what did they say oh my god what did they say it says something like please be respectful towards others um please say good gamer bro i'm like listen and i'm listening i'm the nice one i'm the nice one i always say oh gg y'all good game blah blah right i'm that's just how i am that's how like, i'm naturally am right but come on call of duty for you to sit there and say come on guys let's all be nice to each other Call of Duty is the reason why I got called the N word so many times. And I'm glad. <laughs> no, I'm not glad that I got called the N word, but like, bro, it it's just the competitiveness. That's what make Call of Duty Call of Duty. Do we forget that? I was seven years old going up against dude that just that they bro, they literally just clocked out of work. These dudes are like 30, 40 years old, bro, playing against me. And my team or whatever, bro. And we're young. We are young, bro. We are young. Bro, we're like 9, 10, 11, 12, playing up against dads, bro. They calling us all names. We calling them old, bald head, this, this, and that on the mic every time we're playing searching the show. Like, bro, that's the competitiveness of it. That is the sole mark reason why Call of Duty is so huge because guess what? It, it's so competitive. You get to go crazy and then talk the utmost stuff on your opponents, bro. And that's and, and that's why it's so competitive, you know. I knew this Call of Duty wasn't going to succeed in the multi and, and obviously in campaign, amazing. Call of Duty, you've always done amazing with your campaigns. I love it. For multiplayer, I knew. Listen, come on, man. This whole oh, please be respectful. Everybody should just be nice to each other. This and this. Let's stop, man. Call of Duty, don't. Don't because the reason your game went crazy anyway was because of the competitiveness. Uh, of the competitiveness, that was it. That was it. If you really want to make it, you know, that way, I'm not saying that you, you know, uh, I'm not saying that like, you guys shouldn't like be nice to people. But at the end of the day, man, this whole thing of trying to push something down people's throat, I don't like that. That's the thing that I don't, I don't like about this world, bro. Where people will, will try to push this whole narrative down somebody's throat. They can't have an opinion. You have to go along with everything. No, bro. No. Call of Duty, you made your way. Call of Duty, you literally made your way. Why are we, why, why are we trying to appeal to other... You're Call of Duty. What are we doing? You're trying to appeal to people that don't even play your game. That's the worst part. That is the worst part right there. You are trying to appeal to people that don't even play your game. You're trying to make them happy. How about you make your own community happy? That's not a diss towards you guys. I'm, I'm just saying for, for criticism. You are trying to make people that don't even play your game happy for whatever reason. What? 
What are we doing? That's that's one thing. Two, we need to add uh the map voting back. We need to add we need to add that back instantly. For for Modern Warfare 3, we need to add the the map voting back instantly. That's that's another thing. Um three. And and, th and listen, if anybody from Call of Duty ever see this, I doubt somebody see this from Call of Duty, but if anybody from Call of Duty see this, please take this as criticism. Please don't take this as me hating on you guys. Again, Call of Duty, I, I've been there for every single Call of Duty. If I hated y'all, right? If I hated Call of Duty, I would not I would not be here. I would not be filming this video. I wouldn't film this Call of Duty reaction content. I wouldn't do it. I'm gonna be real. If I didn't like Call of Duty, I wouldn't do it. So this is all criticism. I hope you guys take this as criticism. Another thing, I understand that Call of Duty, they like to like, I'll probably say like, like over to like the last three Call of Duties, all the play styles have been different, which is nice, which is cool. Everybody has different play styles and stuff like that. It's just, man, at the end of the day, right? And I don't want to knock nobody's hustle or whatever. I don't want to knock anybody's like way of playing. But bro, this sweaty, cheesy way of moving and uh, bro bro these dudes are literally hitting the stephen curry against versus ver, versus chris paul crossers bro i can't even talk bro bro these dudes are hitting the reggie bush on me bro as soon as i see a dude they they left right left right spam slide shoot them in the back like bro that is bro bro that is their bread and butter the left right slide and then shoot in the back that is their bread and butter that should not be allowed, bro. I promise you. And I understand, like, the whole movement thing. Like, and people won't agree with me, right? People won't agree with me. Honestly, honestly, what I'm saying right now is very biased. <laughs> it's very biased, right? Because I've been so annoyed with it, bro. Like, the whole movement thing. And then these people walk around like they're so good. You're not. You're not. You're not good. You're not just because like you left right spam all the time and then you jump shoot like out of nowhere. That's so cheesy, but I guess it is what it is. That's just how some people play. And guess what? <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't take it out of the game. Maybe I just came from a from from uh, a place of, of jealousy. <laughs> from a place of jealousy because I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Okay, so maybe ignore the last part what I said. Ignore the whole movement thing. The movement thing, that's a playstyle thing, okay? I can't take that. You, you guys can't take that away. People are, and honestly, people already got adjusted to it anyway. So you guys can't. I just, I just tried to sneak that in because, like, bro, like, I don't. It's irritating, bro. It's irritating. It's so irritating, bro. Honestly, playing against people that move, like, they, bro, they literally, bro, like, playing against, like, a movement person is, like, trying to get Aaron Rodgers that's like that's like that's like me as like a as like a defensive lineman right that's like I'm trying to get Aaron Rodgers or whatever I'm trying to get him blah 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 but he just kept moving and then when you finally get him he breaks the tackle right and, and then when you get him again he breaks the tackle and he goes around the pocket and then throws a Hail Mary and hits it are we good are we good it's just bro it, it, it's at that time at that point what's the point <laughs> What's the point? Well, other than that, again, Call of Duty, ignore the last part with me talking about building and stuff. Well, I said building. I, bro, what's this ain't Fortnite. Ignore the last part where I was talking about, like, moving and stuff like that. It's just, um, a lot of stuff what I was saying, though, before, I meant, you know, like, I'm saying what a bunch of Call of Duty players want to say, and I'm saying what a, what a bunch of Call of Duty players are saying. Um, Call of Duty is up to y'all of, of how, it, 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 evidently, it's up to y'all. We, there's nothing we can do. We can't go to y'all, you know, and do, and do stuff for you. You have to do it. You have to make the decision. So, I guess it is what it is. I, I've ran in for this video long enough. It's probably, the video is probably like 20, 25 minutes. Sorry about that, y'all. Comment down below. What do you guys think? Where do you guys think Call of Duty should fix in their game? Because this game needs a lot of fixing. Again, shout out to Call of Duty. I, I love Call of Duty. I've been playing Call of Duty since I was a, a little baby boy. <laughs> when the game was still rated M for Mature. Um, other than that, see you guys later for the next time I'm out, and...